I'm going to go ahead and flip through this uh, paperback book I just got. It's a book about a, a resort named Saltaire, uh, which sits right on the Great Salt Lake. This book is um, already coming up on its 30th birthday. Um, it's printed by Bonneville Books, University of Utah Press in Salt Lake City. And, uh, 1985 is the copyright date. I have uh, spent plenty of time at Saltaire. Um, Here by the Great Salt Lake and enjoying this view. Um, let's have a little big brush while I chat. Saltaire's uh, a state park when it's um, not in use for concerts and such these days. Uh, you can go anytime you like during the visiting hours and just uh, have a look at the old uh, photos or the scenery, the inside of the pavilion. You can go inside. and course walk around the grounds and uh, go out to the beach on the Salt Lake. And I used to enjoy going there a lot when I lived in Salt Lake City. And it's just a nice location to go and kind of clear your head and uh, maybe just be alone with your thoughts. And um, I just really enjoy the feeling of being out there, you know. Plus, it's a it is a fun place to go and see concerts. So, seen a lot of metal shows there. People like Slayer. Uh, house. This is Black Rock. Must be a different spot from where Saltair was. This book is mostly in black and white, although there are a few color photos towards the middle. So I'll try to flip on through and get to those. A lot of these are, I guess, maybe the company that built Saltair uh, uh, might have built some other pavilions in the uh, efforts to have some sort of a resort on the Great Salt Lake. I don't know. I actually haven't read every page of this book yet, so I'll have to uh, look at that and find out how all this ties in to the Salt Air Resort. And here we go. As you can see, it's a very large pavilion built on uh, wooden pilings to keep it out of the water. <laughs> drawing of it from 1892. Huge building, had railroad access, and uh, here 
was the dome when it was originally being built. And uh, it says that it was similar in size and shape to the Salt Lake Tabernacle. <laughs> oh, here we have a picture in color. There we go. Must have been a very grand building. Pretty impressive to see in person. Here we have some postcards. <laughs> the interesting ladies' bathing costumes from back then. <laughs> mm, some beautiful light shots. I love the lights through this one. bunch of people arriving by train to come and enjoy. Look at them. Looks like a sea of suits and hats. <laughs> wow. Interesting entry. Says here the last train back to Salt Lake City left Saltaire at midnight. Wow. Pretty pretty impressive uh, mass transit back then. <laughs> Open air cars roared along at 30 miles per hour. Wow. <laughs> Not bad for that. Uh, this photo I've seen a lot around the gift shop in Saltaire. I think I've seen it in other places too, but yeah, the uh, fully clothed sunbather. Yep. Even parasols, of course. And uh, another interesting picture. what sort of music they've danced to. They have a tuba back here. All the typical, you know, woodwinds and brass, that sort of thing. Hippodrome. Uh, here we have one of the tragic photos. Fire destroyed the first Salt Air Pavilion. It was a big enough uh, attraction still that they were um, able to rebuild it. There's the uh, giant racer wooden um, roller coaster. I still really enjoy wooden roller coasters. Uh, I like the steel ones too, but uh, Wooden ones just have a, a different thrill, and they're also kind of nostalgic for me, since those were the type of coasters that were mostly around when I was growing up. So. There's uh, the original one, and here's the second one.
obviously they wanted to kind of have some similarities, but at the same time do something different. Great Salt Lake is extremely salty um, compared to the ocean. It's, I don't know, something like 10 times as salty or something like that. Um, here's some swim attire of the 1920s. <laughs> but um, the Great Salt Lake is so salty that it's kind of like putting a bunch of salt in a glass of water and then floating an egg in it, so obviously uh, one of the fun things about swimming in the Great Salt Lake is that you tend to float, <laughs> uh, even if you wouldn't usually in a swimming pool. So. Uh, when the uh, Great Salt Lake went really far and left the resort pretty high and dry. Here's another shot of the, the rebuilt Giant Racer, 1932. Unfortunately, the, uh, the second resort, as cool as it looks in the pictures, um, the lack of water and uh, just general neglect, I think it became a state property uh, at some point and quickly started deteriorating and then eventually it, it also basically burned down. So. of Saltaire and the fact that it's now in its third incarnation. Um, I can't help but think of the Monty Python skit. Um, talking about the uh, castle in the swamp keeps sinking and he keeps rebuilding it, keeps sinking. <laughs> but the finally, at some point, it stays up. <laughs> Mostly for this book, but um, I assure you there is a third one of these. <laughs> it's not nearly as big as this, though, and it's uh, it's not a big wooden pavilion that's standing on pylons in the middle of the water either. It's it's definitely on solid ground, and. Uh, has remnants of the old pavilions, of course, but, yeah, it's a 
little bit different, but it's still a fun place to go. Unfortunately, the, uh, the one thing that was noted when I was getting ready to buy this was that it does have some slight damage, this little folding on the back cover, but uh, yeah, I'm really glad to have that book. It's very nice. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, this is um, a bit of a tribute to uh, ASMR Trigger Happy, um, who recently did a tribute to my uh, videos of brushing model cars, and I really appreciated that. Did a very, very good job on the video she did, and uh, um, I was just really impressed, and uh, so I would like to, you know, definitely give her a shout out, and, uh, you know. Hope this uh, little video had some some traces of her style in it. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Bye bye.